today we are doing PRP for hair regrowth. And PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. So what we've already done is drawn our patient's blood, we spun it down, and we put it into a few syringes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject it in his scalp where he has some thinning of his hair. And the platelets will signal to his stem cells to migrate to where they are, and it will help those hair follicles come back to life. If he was totally bald or never had hair there before, it really wouldn't work. But when there's hair that's just thinning, it's awesome. So that's a technical term, very doctorly term. So we are gonna go ahead and start. Oh, I'll show you, this is called the Zimmer. And what this does is it blows negative 18 degrees at him. So it's like a little piece of ice on his scalp. So it helps with the discomfort. The other thing that helps with the discomfort is Pronox, so laughing gas. So it's nice to have both of those things to help if you're a little anxious about any of the procedures we do here. We could always use a Zimmer, we could always use the Pronox. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I've already wiped down his scalp, as you can see, with some Puricin. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three, here we go. Boom, boom. You doing okay? Yeah. And PRP is otherwise classified as regenerative medicine. And it's really popular now. The orthopedists use it to help with joints. Dentists use it to help with bone remodeling in the mandible. So it's not just us that's using it. But we can use it in a number of places. So obviously this is one of the most popular. And typically we recommend doing it once every four to six weeks, three times in the first year, and then maybe once a year, just to kind of keep it up. The other places we can use it, we can use it for sexual wellness. So we do something with it called the P shot to help with erectile dysfunction or just erectile function. Also increases blood flow, increases sensitivity. You doing okay? Yep. Okay. We can use it for female sexual wellness also. It's called the O-Shot for that. That also helps with <clears throat> stress urinary incontinence. So we can use it for uh, lifting the breasts or giving more volume to the breasts. It's called the breast lift or the vampire breast lift. We can use it in the face like filler called the vampire facelift. We could use it in the face as a facial, and that's called the vampire facial, and we microneedle it in. So it's lots of good uses for PRP. This is one of my favorites, so, because hair means a lot. So I like to do a multi-step approach for the hair. So I give patients shampoo that helps their scalp be conditioned and be ready to, to help. I mean, it's good when you, when you have healthy, a healthy scalp because that healthy skin makes for better treatment. So we do that even when we do hair restoration. So we have shampoo and then we have a serum that we use, that he'll use when he goes home and then we inject like we just did, but we'll also right now do some microneedling to help stimulate those hair follicles too. So it's a multi-step process. This is the platelet poor plasma. So although there's, it's not platelet rich, there's still some platelets in there and we're gonna, we're gonna microneedle these in. So it just helps and we've got it, so why not use it? No reason. So I'm going to Go ahead and do the microneedling part now. This doesn't take just but a couple minutes. Okay. I'm going to start in the back. Okay. Then we're going to go back here. It's going to feel like a vibration. Right. So after this treatment, I would tell him he should not wear very tight hats for about a week. I don't want him washing his hair for a good three days. And when he goes home, he should change his pillowcase, 
so sometimes those are dirty and now he's got thousands of little channels from the microneedling all open. I would not, I would have him not sleep with any dogs or cats or any animals because we don't want them like licking his scalp. No. So, so those are just general, the general rules afterwards. Tomorrow he'll be sore, but then the next day he'll be fine. And it can take anywhere from two to four months to see results. But if you're doing it three times, that's even better. Let's just do a little bit more microneedling right up here just because I want to irritate the heck out of you. And your hair falls off. And that is an entire PRP hair procedure. So if you want to find out if PRP for your hair is right for you, you can find us online at rejuvenationmd.com.